Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today we're upgrading our SCCM to version 1511, and then later on we're going to upgrade it to 1607 so we can start continuing our SCCM series with deploying Windows 10 and doing all that good stuff. So the first thing that you need to do is uh, your SCCM needs to be a certain version to push out 1511. Uh, just little quick things. To upgrade directly to SCCM 15.11, you, you have to be running SCCM 2012 Service Pack 1 or Service Pack 2, uh, or SCCM 2012 R2 or R2 Service Pack 1. Plus, you need to be running Windows 10 ADK, the latest version. Uh, right now, we have two versions for 15.11 and we have version 16.07. I'm going to be pushing out version 16.07 uh, for this video because eventually I'm going to be upgrading it to 16.07, so why not just do it, right? So I downloaded this file already on the desktop, but you can't really start the installation. You need to remove the old Windows ADK within your SCCM uh, machine. So I'm going to go inside the control panel, and we're gonna go programs and features, and this is the old one. This is actually version 10.5.8.6. And this is the new one right now for uh, 1607, which is version 14.393. So I got to remove this. So let's uninstall. It's about 4.25 gigs that's going to be removed. And eventually you're going to have 4.25 more gigs added. But we need to remove this so we can start the process with the new ADK stuff. Okay, so once your Windows 10 ADK is removed or uninstalled from the machine, we're going to close this dialog box. We're going to exit out of here and we're going to double click on our new Windows 10 ADK because again, we need the latest and greatest one. Uh, again, 4.2, that's what we removed, but we're placing 4.2 back into our infrastructure, which is weird, right? Uh, click next on that. Uh, this is really up to you. I'm going to click no, I don't want to participate and click next. Uh, read the license agreement, click accept. I'm going to leave everything as the default for now. Uh, but if you want, you can actually do the volume activation management tools. You can add SQL Server 2012. You could do the media experience uh, analyzer. There's a bunch of other stuff that you could add, but I'm just going to leave the default settings and we're going to click install. Okay, so it looks like our Windows 10 ADK has been successfully installed. Awesome. So we're going to close that up. Just gonna delete this file out of my desktop. All right guys, so the next thing that we need to do is get inside our SQL Studio Manager and do a full backup of our database. I already did that already. Uh, so you could do a right click, go to Tasks and do a backup. Uh, and just do a, a full backup of your database before you do anything else. Okay, so once you do your fully backup of your database, it's time to upgrade. Uh, there's a couple ways that you could do this. You could take that backup go into another machine with SQL Server Manager, restore that backup, and then uh, do a test database upgrade using the version 1511 SCCM ISO or DVD to make sure that database is good to go. Uh, I don't have that type of environment, so what I'm gonna do is initiate the 1511 installation and just cross my fingers and see if it works out for us. I'm gonna minimize the Management Studio and I already have the 1511 ISO already mounted, so I'm going to go inside the PC Explorer and just double click on the E drive. There goes 1511. I'm gonna close this window up and I'm gonna click install. I'm going to click on next. And again, we're doing an upgrade disk configuration management site. That's what we're doing. So we're going to click on next. You can read the software license terms. I'm going to accept them, click next. Uh, unfortunately, you have to accept all this stuff to continue, which kind of sucks, but let's just check everything off, click next. So from here, you could create a folder within your C drive. I'm going to create a folder within the D drive because I have enough space there. And we are going to, and we're going to call it temp. Awesome. So I'm going to copy this path, going to paste that path there and click on next. It's going to download these files. Uh, once the files are downloaded, then we can continue. So, okay. So once you're done with downloading those 56 files, uh, you're going to pick your server language selection. I'm going to leave it as the default, which is English. 
uh, click on next then you have the client language selection again I'm gonna leave the default as English click on next usage data uh, you can read this if you want but I'm going to click on next on that now for your server connection point setup by default it selects this yes let's get connected you're gonna see your SCCM server name right here so leave that as is we're going to click next uh, setup type it's gonna be an upgrade yes hopefully everything goes well click next now it's doing a check to see if I have any errors before it starts the installation I'm hoping everything goes well alright so the check is done I got a couple of warnings and the reason why I got a couple of warnings is because my SQL server doesn't have enough memory again I'm running everything inside a virtual testing lab environment uh, so but I did get the beginning install didn't receive any errors awesome and we're going to click install now this process takes a little long it really depends on your infrastructure as well as your database my database itself is about two gigs so uh, upgrading that as well as the console and everything else is going to take a while and uh, once this is done we're going to continue all right so it looks like I upgrade is completed uh, got a lot of green check marks which is always a plus a uh, couple of these little guys right here but uh, no major errors what you could do is if you go inside your PC Explorer or your Fire Explorer go to C Drive and within the C Drive you're gonna see a config manager setup just locate the one with the latest timestamp so I'm gonna double click on this guy if you go all the way in the bottom you're gonna get completed configuration manager 2012 server setup upgraded awesome so we are going to close that close this up click close we're gonna exit out of that awesome and we're gonna double click on our SCCM management console to load that up alright if you want to make sure that you're running the latest version 1511 we're gonna click on this little guy right here click about configuration manager and as you can see version 1511 awesome sauce cool next thing that we need to do is check our site to make sure it's on the latest build so let's go to administration Within administration, we are going to go to site configuration sites and we're going to right click on our primary site and we're going to go to properties and within properties, it should give you an indication of version uh, 8325 1000, which is the latest build version 1511. So that means everything went well. Awesome. And that's it, guys. We uh, upgraded to version 1511. Uh, I'm going to poke around to make sure everything is up and running, but uh, it looks like we're in version 1511. I'm super excited. Pretty soon, I'm going to do another video upgrading 1511 to 1607. And then we're finally up to the latest version of SCCM, and we can start. Uh, capturing and deploying Windows 10. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.